everybody, it is I, the Lone Swordsman, and welcome to another video in a series that we haven't started yet. As you can see, Super Mario 30 All-Stars came out yesterday. I would have recorded this video yesterday, yesterday however, yes, I, I can't record a video yesterday. That sounds like an English thing, like an old English thing, like 1500s. I don't know. But I couldn't record this yesterday because of a word that starts with S and ends with a word that doesn't describe it whatsoever. I'll leave you to figure out what that is. And we're going to be playing Mar through Mario Galaxy. The game agrees too, because it's playing one of the best songs in the game. We base Galaxy fans get hyped up because we're going to get to play the best video game of all time. You can't change my mind. This is my favorite video game of all time. I l it was the first video game I ever really played. Mario Kart Wii was the first video game I ever owned. Well, I played Mario Kart 8 at a friend's house, but I got Mario Kart Wii as, as, as the first video game I ever owned. But then I played Galaxy. Guess which ended up being played more? Galaxy. This game is fantastic. And those of you who also played this game know what I mean. It's just so creative and one of the best Wii games on the console. So yeah, let's just get right into our, my let's play of Super Mario Galaxy HD with the worst item in the game. That That's kind of not boating well. <laughs> Why do I have a file? Uh, I'm gonna delete this? Oh, right! I tried to record this yesterday and I got the first power star, but it didn't bode well, yes. We're gonna delete this. Oh, yeah, okay, and now we're gonna use it again. <laughs> and, yeah, we're gonna start a new file. There are six files in Galaxy per account that you use on the Switch, so you can go through it as many times as you want. I'm probably gonna use the others for speedrunning, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna go with Toad, either way. Let's jump right in. I am excited! Hello, giant scratchy voice face. Hello, Let let's begin. This game is fantastic, so if I start getting really excited in the middle of it, then you know why. Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. I'm checking to make sure that all of my recording things are ready because I just have a bad feeling. <laughs> the comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. Was Toad out in the original cutscene there? I don't remember. The Toads brought the shooting stars to the castle where there became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. They just showed multiple Toadettes. They just showed multiple Toadettes! Oh my goodness, it's been confirmed. Toadette is just any girl Toad. Wow, that's that's really cool. <laughs> you can I'm kind of fanboying out here, I'm sorry. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. That was fully voice acted, but it sounded really quiet to me. So yeah, let me just make sure. Uh, I'm checking my volume on, I've got on my TV, so I, it's not too loud, but. Hello! Gosh! I can tell the different things on Mario's hat. This is HD, all right. So a weird choice that they made was that they made this game just HD. It's not a full remaster, but I can understand it what with the circumstances, but all the guests are here! Time to party! I'm going to voice every toad like that, and you can't change my mind. Mario, you're the last guest to arrive! Glad you can make it! Yeah, Toad, I'm glad glad I can make it too, because I get to play this fantastic game because of it. Yes. Janky wall jumps. <laughs> yes, I'm excited. Hello, Red Toad. The Star is starting! Woohoo! Yes, it's very exciting. Oh, what did you say? Yeah, you're here! What do you got there, buddy? Hey, Mario, see this storm in my head? Grab as many of them as you can! Yeah, so basically, this is the game's currency other than coins. Coins are still in the game, as you can see in the little marker there. But... Yeah, star bits are better. Uh, uh, kind of. They both have their own little effects, and they both have their upsides, so get them all. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to do this so, like, people who haven't played the game, which 
Where have you been living? Under a rock? I mean, seriously, this game is fantastic. But, yeah, just... If you haven't played through this, then... What's wrong with you? Just collect all the star bits, and you go join the, the Toads in the party. Oh! <laughs> okay! That should have squished Mario! From where he was standing, that should have squished Mario! What was that, bro? It's Bowser again. Uh, obviously, it's Bowser, but Bowser's everywhere. Oh, dear gosh, Mario survived. Good. The toads, some toads are, are getting frozen. They're not surviving. Oh, it's Bowser, he's here. Man, we're gonna kidnap the princess because I'm so cool, and I'm gonna do it in the best way possible because this is the best way Bowser's ever kidnapped Peach, even though I'm slightly biased, I don't care. cake with Mario, but I can't, well, at least I get to have cake with this star boy, I guess, I don't know, uh, that Bowser's here, and yet I'm still smiling, what's wrong with me, or maybe, maybe I want Bowser to kidnap me, like, isn't that the biggest fan theory in the entire world of Mario, I think so, I don't know, yeah, okay, let's just go, Princess Peach, you are formally invited, Steve, to the creation of my new galaxy! Ah, oh, the toads are scared! We don't want Bowser! He's spooky! Ah, this festival's over! My voice is terrible. Oh, also, I stole this from Star Trek. I hope you don't mind. What? I, I thought you got to take that from Spock. That's, that's not very nice, my guy. Okay. Yeah, we're talking to the toads. They're scared. How could this happen? I don't know, it happens every week. <laughs> Panic and fear! Panic and fear! Oh yeah, Panic and fear, that's what I have every day. <laughs> he tripped, are you okay, man? My boy is tripped with that crystal thing! He's dead. The princess is this way! I don't care about her! I'm, I'm too lazy to do it myself because I'm a tower. What word am I? <laughs> oh, it's all just too horrible for words. So it's too horrible for words. Fantastic! Great description, my guy. The long jump, because we know how to play this game, right? Find my happy place. Try not to panic. I didn't say that in the scratchy voice. I'm sorry. Let's do that again. Find my happy place. Try not to panic. Ah! The princess is just up ahead. I want to bring fellow toads be warned. Hello. Okay, camera angle. I get you want me to go over the hill because that's the easiest way possible. However, oh no. I, won't. I am a good citizen. I go up the path. Let's save the peach. Hi, peach. I am Star Trek UFO. I will take this planet. Bing bang! Star Trek lasers! Cue more exciting music because more exciting music is more exciting music. By far the coolest way Bowser has ever kidnapped Peach, you know, taking the entire castle. Now I know what you're about to say, but Loon, he did that in Paper Mario! Yes! But this is a cooler way to take the entire castle. Lifting it out by lasering it with a UFO from Star Trek, and taking the, uh, thing up with four airships. You know what Bowser did in Paper Mario? He just built a castle underneath it and flew it up into the sky, which is more engineeringly impressive. Uh, Paper Mario, but which is just cooler aesthetically this way. Bowser has certainly learned which is better, even though Paper Mario I don't think is canon to the world of Mario. Does anybody actually know that? Like, with all the spin-off Mario has, which is canon and which isn't? I don't think Paper Mario's canon, but maybe it is. So long, enjoy your fight! Did that sound like Mario there? Like, rewatch that clip, please. That does not sound like Mario. I'm sorry. It just doesn't. Mario! Oh, look at Starboy. Well, Starboy's going to have to go to the land of Starboy. 
to save Mario from the land of Starboy. Oh, looks like Mario's in a flower bed. Maybe he's back on Earth. Nope. Ooh, big star boy. Oh wow, I'm in space. Shouldn't I have gone to the Earth? Or is that the Earth? Is this like the moon or something? I, I don't, I don't know at this point. This is logic. Finally, you're awake. Let's play. Come on, jump with B or A. A works just too. Same thing with, same thing as Odyssey. You know the girl. Oh hey, look, pasta star bunnies. Star Boy wants to play hide and seek. If you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. Cause that's logical. Oh, and we're gonna vanish into midair, which I could do that when I play hide and seek. Bank. Oh, we went all the way around the planet. Magical. Give me those. I want all of those. <laughs> Mario is just the ultimate star bit collector. Ooh, coins. Finally, the first money of the game. There's... It's a star boy. Hi, star boy. Star bunny boy. Bunny boy. Ha. Got him. You caught me. Wow, I'm truly star boy. Oh, if only I'd hidden in the pipe. Oh, I wonder. Where are the others hidden? Let's try going down the pipe, which without pressing anything because game. Um, look, pasta bunny number one. Doesn't this look like pasta? To be honest, it looks like bow tie noodles or ears. I should have hidden in the grass. Hmm. Maybe. Since you said you should have hidden in the grass, maybe your friend. Hidden the. This is flowers. Why am I here? Um, Cause. Okay, we can hear you. Get out. Get out. Out. So if you press ZR uh, with the Joy Cons, I think you can actually hit them with the star bits by shooting them, but you lose one. And you can shoot it, and that'll slow it down. Similar how you can smack the bunnies with a hat in Super Mario Odyssey. This game is very similar to Super Mario Odyssey, considering that between the Super Mar this game and Super Mario Odyssey, they only had another Galaxy game and the 3D, 3D title, 3D Land and 3D World. So, so my nose itches. I don't know. I'm just itching it. Oh man, Castle appears out of nowhere. And now Supernova. Oh, and we're teleported here. Hello, Star Boys. Sorry about bringing you here, so suddenly we should probably tell you about where you are. There's a connection here to deep space, far from your lands. We call it the gateway to the starry sky. Wow, I'm at the gateway to the starry sky, even though I'm in, you know, the starry sky. Logic doesn't work right. We can't do that jump yet. <laughs> Bam. We can do that jump, though. We're gamers. Oh, hello. It's that one person from Smash. Yeah, that's you. Rosalina. <laughs> I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. Yeah, I heard that. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. Woo, special. To save your special one, you'll need to, oh, yeah, let's see what I said. You'll need the power to travel through space. Hmm, magic. Oh, Starboy. Hi, Starboy. <laughs> Luma can give you this power. I will trust you with this care. Okay, then. This doesn't make any sense. The species of Star Boys are the Lumas. But she's referring to this one like Luma's its name. So, by default, does that mean that the rest of them aren't Lumas or are they just all named Luma and they're just like, hey Luma, could you come and do your chores? Everybody comes racing there. So to keep that from happening, this specific Star Boy is called Luma. The rest of their species is Star Boy. Ah. Oh no! Luma's going to possess me! I got possessed, but I'm not really possessed. Instead, I get the main gimmick of this game. You have the ability to spin now! Shake right Joy-Con. You can also spin with Y. Yeah, I spin with Y because it doesn't feel right. Disaster has struck us just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the grand stars. May the stars shine down on you. Bye, space lady! And hey, Rosalina. All right, I'm gonna get out of this fake world of mine that I keep pretending I'm actually Mario. So, 
Doesn't this game seem like so much fun? Seriously, you should get it. But spinning! Hello, shake, yes, I know. You can break things and spin enemies to stun them. This is one of the coolest gimmicks ever in a Mario game. Cappy's mo the more helpful one, but this one's just neat. Uh, Cappy's probably neater, but Cappy's better. We'll just leave it at that. But we couldn't make that jump at first. Now we can. You can, you know, backflip, wall jump, and then spin to redirect your body, I guess, to another direction. This is very helpful for hard jumps. Now let's break the thing. I could have sworn the launcher was in the one in the back, but I guess not. Now let's shake it. Lots and lots of galaxies for you to discover. And even more in the sequel to this game, it didn't get added to the thing. Though frankly, Lone couldn't care less about it because he never played Galaxy 2 in the first place and has a Wii U, so why the heck? Hi there, good to see you. I had some bad news though. See, I had a launch star already for you, but a meteor smashed it up. Oh, whoops. You can't leave without it, so find all the star chips to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall in the black hole. Nope. I think I'll, I, let's get a good view of this. I don't think I would have fallen that. Just saying. I probably don't want to fall in that. Um, coins. Coins restore your health in this game like they did in 64 and I think Sunshine. I've been playing some 64 and Sunshine. You can also spin these guys to kill them. However, only the Goombas that look squashed. There's a starship here. We should probably get that and not get killed by the meteors. That's a good idea. So, if you look at them, they look a little, I don't know, squashed, I guess. So, those specific Goombas will, if you spin them, they will just die immediately with points. However, that was a pretty good this thing. So yeah, you see how they're a bit squashed compared to normal Goombas, and a bit slower? Yeah, just spin them, and they become points. Now this is the Goomba. No, is it? Nope, it's not, we'll just kill it. You're not the right type of Goomba. The Goomba races amend it today. Let's jump on the head. Get me out of here. One of these enemies should have the key. You can shake this and press Y to spin. I'm just gonna say this, you know what? <laughs> Why to spin them around and make them dizzy. Once they're stunned, just run into them. However, the tiny ones, like I said, don't need that. With the gravity, you can do some really insane jumps. Like long jumping, but actually going high. And I, I just realized there's a keyhole up there. So that's how that works. Neat. I know. I believe that's actually a Goomba we're used to. But, yeah, if we spin them. Oh, yeah, like she said. And then we get Starbits. Or the key. It's Starbits normally, okay? I'll just leave it at that. Um, however, coins, since they uh, use, since they heal your health, they're technically more helpful. If you jump on them, you'll get coins either way. It doesn't matter what type of Goomba it is. So, if you get 50 star bits, you get an, a, a, a one-up. We already got a one-up. But yeah, as you can see, if you jump on them, you get a coin. Fantastic. There's also coins all over the place, apparently. They're used to, they used to be rare in the original, but nope. We can just spin him to kick him. Now, something you can do, I just spin him and kick, kicked him when I first played this. I didn't realize that you can actually spin these things and send out a shockwave, flipping every enemy nearby. And that's how you're supposed to take it out. I didn't know that, but we don't need the lolly guy here any longer. Hurry, down here! We gotta go down the pipe! Okay, we're going down the pipe, jeez. Let's just save the world! Hi! My head hurts because just looking at this. We've been waiting for you. That's a nuclear reactor. And a Grand Star, we have to save it. It's being used to power, power the nu nuclear reactor. You're using the Grand Star to power that awful nuclear reactor. It looks like it's making nuclear power. We have to do something before the Grand Star's power is drained. Quick, find a way to stop that terrible nuclear reactor. Okay, I know it's like, they never said it was a nuclear reactor, but that makes the most sense, and also it looks like a nuclear reactor. And nuclear reactors are just cooler. So, yeah. I have an opinion. But yeah, if you just run around this, you gotta hit all four of them and turn them blue. It's pretty helpful. And like I said, coins restore health. So if you get hurt, no worries. And also if you jump on that, don't worry, just fall back on it. It'll fix it. And now we need to head down here and maybe hit the rest of these. Oh, and get stopped by Starboy. Turn off the flip switches on the floor to shut down this 
nuclear reactor. We already figured that out, but... Magic! Nuclear reactor goes bye-bye. Ba-bang, ba-boom, ba Bitterly bang, ba bye bye Okay, I really said that right. This song is so perfect. Oh, okay. But yeah, just listen to this song, please. You deserve it as a human being. I'll take you the rest of these. And now, let's grab the grand star. Oh, magic go into the circle, freeze frame. Oh, and suddenly I'm flying. Cool, Mario can fly now, fantastic. He doesn't even have to use a launch star. Oh, what's this? Is this the International Space Station? Hmm. Oh, bad nuclear reactor's in there, it's not working. Oh, this nuclear reactor is better than the other one because nuclear reactor war. I, I, I don't know. Oh, the magical power of nuclear power gives magical life to half of this ISS. Oh, and Loma's, I mean, pardon me, Star Boys up here. Oh, magic door open. I think that's pretty neat. You got a star! Grand Star Rescue Gateway Galaxy. High score updated. You increased your star bit count. So, your coins just count towards healing you, and if you get 50 of them, you get a one-up. Star bits don't heal you, but if you get 50 of them, you get a one-up. Also, they count towards everything else. You can use them to buy things eventually in the game. We'll get to that when we get to that, however. Oh, look, who is it? We have to look up, so it's probably Rosalina. The beacon's lit again! It's a it's a nuclear reactor. It shines weakly, maybe only as bright as a class six star, but at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the grand star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. <laughs> Welcome to the Kind Observatory. It's my home and also home to the Star Boys. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stop in front of this planet. The comet that we saw in the opening cutscene is this place. It's very cool. A strange force had lashed onto our ship, pulling away star bits and our power source, Power Stars. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the Power Stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. It's Bowser. Obviously, he's the main Mario villain. Please, please I have a request. And I don't have full voice acting, which sucks, but... This observatory uses star power to protect images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there's a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other look. power stars. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one that is working now, powered by the star power you restored, is this one, the Terrace. Please go to the Terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. Look. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the common observatory's ability to fly like a starship. And then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. There's Polaris, the best star boy. Let's save our game. And here we are, the best hub world in ever, any Mario game ever. I'm very biased towards this game, but whatever, no one cares. We can do some pretty neat jumps with spinning, but you can only do it so many times. I believe I've made this jump before on my Wii file, so I know I can do it. I can do it! We're gonna do this and end the video off up there. And even if we don't, I don't care. Oh ha ha ha! Nailed it. I told you this is my game. So, looking out at space. Saying it in that tone, Chaka Conroy makes at the end of every one of his episodes in his Let's Plays. Next time on Super Mario Galaxy HD, I really sound like I might need to come up with something more creative. We'll explore the first galaxy in the game, not counting Gateway, because Gateway is a tutorial level. And we're going to try to shoot that darn Luma. Yes! We shot him! He is dead. I'll see you guys next time.
Hope you enjoyed this video. This might have premiered. I don't know yet. If you can't tell what I'm saying, that sucks for you because I don't think you're supposed to tell, know what I'm saying. But if you do, uh, comment to this in the comments. You, you got to put comment, okay? Uh, you ca com you got to comment this. Okay, I'll see you, now, you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. Next episode should be tomorrow.